Welcome back to Old Fox Racing PS4. This is round 36. We are with the BMW Touring Car at Sugu Sports and in Japan. Race 1, Andy Boot, what an amazing win that was. Followed by Simon Allen, who led most of the race but then made a mistake out of the chicane. Qualifying for race 2, Kev Allen making a return after uh, disconnecting in race 1, followed by Simon Allen. And then Andy Boot and Craig Lloyd. Diogo Silva and Jambo on row 3, and then Stuart Brand and Brian Hesting in row 4 with fuel. Last again, but he's very consistent in the race. Watch out for him as we now have the green light, and there is race 2 start, and Kev Allen makes an excellent getaway, followed by Simon Allen. And there's someone there in third, which I think is Andy Boot. No, it is Craig Lloyd. No, it's Andy Boot, I'm sorry. Andy Boot followed by Diogo Silva, who made a good start there. Uh, so Diogo uh, made a good start there. We are waiting for... Um, the classification to appear uh, so that I can actually see what's going on. Thank you very much. It's indeed Andy Booth in third, followed by Joe Silva in fourth. What happened to Craig Lloyd? Craig Lloyd is in fifth, so he made a bad getaway, Craig. Craig made a bad uh, getaway. Brian Hesting again uh, with a good start in sixth as Jambu in seventh. And then, of course, Stuart Brandon Phil making their usual battle. Let's see how that this one is going to end as we are still on lap one in the back straight. And... Here are the two teammates with the yellow signs. It's Andy Booth, and with the red ones, it's Diogo Silva. As Simon Allen has, uh, of course, lost race one, um, and that was quite disappointing for him. But uh, he's now hoping that uh, he's got enough pace to go after Kev. Kev, of course, has scored zero points. It was a DNF in race one, so he will want a better result here, and he started in the best possible way, which is by leading the opening lap of this race here at Sports and Sugo, as we already have all these drivers getting into a rhythm. And uh, we've seen a lot of that this weekend, and generally in touring car racing in this game, it's quite an exciting category to, to use, because of course the cars are um, all the same, and, and someone is pitting, someone is pitting, uh, and I don't know if that it's um, uh, on purpose, um, or if it was a mistake, but Brian Hesting has decided that for some reason it would be a good idea, even if he's, this is just a 12-lap race, to go into the pits. And of course, he's dropping to dead last in the process. So he's now ninth. That puts Jambo up to sixth as Craig Lloyd continues to recover and has now found the back of Diogo Silva. But as I was saying, uh, we've seen this all uh, over and over again here at Sugu and also in other venues, in other races with touring cars, that uh, because the cars are the same, the racing is very exciting, but also generates these uh, slight processions where um, drivers are just, you know, uh, separated by six, uh, seven tenths of a second and no one is really gaining any time and, and in a circuit like this it's not trivial to outbreak um, someone into most of these turns uh, let's really see how this is going to evolve because I think Craig in this case here with Diogo Craig has a bit more pace um, he just needs to try to find a gap somewhere or just go for it uh, and hope it turns out to be okay which is probably the uh, only way to make an overtake in this circuit with this car amongst the leading drivers as we are now on lap 3 already and Kev Allen is really making up for lost time in race one by continuing to lead in race two already one and a half seconds ahead of Kev Allen with Andy Boot holding on to third place Diogo is not far behind but he's already now being more worried about Craig Lloyd who makes a slight attempt there at this very very heavy breaking point before the chicane Craig is getting a bit frustrated because he probably thinks that he's got enough pace to get closer to Andy quickly but uh, Diogo is just doing his job there uh, trying to hold on to a position he's uh, he did not have the best of races in race one he was only fifth uh, compounded by the fact that Andy Boot actually won the race uh, so Andy uh, who was I believe 11 points ahead of Diogo coming into this round um, has of course now gained another uh, 15 if I'm not uh, if I'm making the maths correctly so Diogo finds himself already now 26 points behind um, Andy Booth uh, no sorry it's 21 points he was 21 points ahead 
and has lost another 15 as any boot makes a, makes a mistake there he makes a mistake there I'm sure that's not team orders it's uh, because there are no team orders in old Fox Racing PS4 it looked almost like as if Andy Boot let Diogo Silva through but I'm sure that he was just a mistake in the and here comes Craig Lloyd on Andy Boot on the first corner and he's done it he's done it he's now into fourth place as Diogo finds himself now in a podium position uh, unexpectedly uh, I don't know what happened with Andy Booth there he just seemed to slow down for absolutely no reason uh, I don't think that he was warned of any penalty because we didn't see him running wide anywhere and in any case it was quite a severe drop in speed that we saw there so maybe Andy just made a mistake uh, we, and here comes oh this is Simon Allen into the grass um it looked like almost like a joker lap in, in Rallycross as, as uh, Simon was creating his own section of, of the track. Uh, I'm sure that will contribute to further, um, well, for him to further lose time to, to Kev. He's trying a bit too hard, Simon, now, and his, uh, this race is running away from him already on lap four. He finds himself three seconds behind as we now follow Stuart Brand, who is in seventh place again um, with Phil and the one-stopper Brian Hesting behind him. Um, he is following Jambo, who seems to uh, have not as much pace as in race one. He's in sixth and uh, already um, quite a long way behind Andy Booth, uh, who is now in fifth place after that mistake. Uh, Jambo is running around eight seconds down the road from Andy, so uh, that's going to be quite tricky to recover. But of course, we are still on lap five as we have this trio now who seem to be the main source of interest in this race and Craig Lloyd is really there in the sandwich of and then here comes Andy Boots whoa Andy Boots also running wide in the chicane he's trying a little bit too hard uh, of course Craig is sandwiched uh, between these two um, green and white BMWs and Diogo is already trying to defend on the back straight I don't think Craig is close enough to make a move, but uh, Diogo certainly is looking in his mirrors, uh, looking for Craig, trying to defend third place. He's ahead of Andy Boot, at least, so um, he should try to capitalize on this to at least gain some points back after that uh, horrendous first race where he could only do fifth and Andy Boot um, went to win again his sixth win of the season. Um, uh, which uh, now makes him tied with Craig Lloyd as well. Craig, of course, doing more of a part-time uh, job in this series. He only turns up when he wants to, and he certainly uh, has enjoyed uh, touring car racing and similar cars in the past. And he's now sitting in fourth place as we begin lap six. Uh, difference at the front has dropped a little bit. It was over three seconds just a few moments ago. It's now 2.5 seconds. So Simon uh, gaining some ground there on 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 Kev um, as these two now continue to uh, battle. And Andy Boot has lost a bit of time. He's lost touch with this group. He's uh, a couple of seconds behind as we see Kev Allen there. Um, in the leads and this is the back straight so they can all see each other here we have Kev Allen, Simon Allen, Diogo Silva, Craig Lloyd and uh, Andy Booth so even if uh, some of the guys at the back lost time they are still in visual contact in this in this back straight and of course this happens because all Fox Racing PS4 is such a competitive championship we always race with the same car we always race with the same setup or at least one of the default setups as uh, Kev Allen really running wide there uh, at the last corner, almost lost it, but continues to lead this race for the time being and has 2.5 seconds. So basically, uh, 2.5 seconds lead, that's basically because he and Simon Allen are essentially um, more or less lapping at the same speed. In fact, uh, uh, Kev has done a 127.0 and uh, Simon has done a 127.15 so, so clearly a very very similar pace amongst the leaders uh, and actually the top five are all running on the 127 which is 
quite a nice pace indeed. The slowest of the five is Diogo Silva, uh, or was on this particular lap. Diogo Silva, uh, 127, 652. Uh, Jambu is on the 128, and then the other drivers are, are running uh, somewhat slower than that, so they are clearly losing touch with this um, uh, leading pack of five cars. As now we see uh, Craig Lloyd uh, quite, quite close to Diogo Silva, and I wish the cameras would actually zoom on that battle because they seem to be battling there at the, uh, on the back straight. Let's see if uh, Craig makes a move or not. Here we have this weird camera where it's uh, now zooming. Thank you very much, cameraman, for zooming, but that was perhaps too much of a zoom so that we were actually not seeing anything um, as we now going through the last sequence of corners and Diogo is still in front. So I don't know if Craig tried the move or not, but if he did, it was an unsuccessful one as we are now approaching the end of lap seven. And they continue to battle for the last podium position here at Sportsland Sugu, round 36 of the cha this championship. Beginning of lap eight, as Craig Lloyd continues in chasing Diogo Silva in that mist sponsored car. Diogo, of course, with the green and white car. Very traditional livery as well. Number 67 car of Diogo Silva. Uh, lap 8 uh, already, so we are entering the final third of the race. And Craig Lloyd, I think, is faster than Diogo Silva, but he, he just doesn't seem to find a way past. Here he's almost in, in, in Diogo's gearbox, but not quite an overtaking point there. So I think Craig is actually putting all his bets on the back straight and here comes Diogo now, he's defending on the inside as, as he's completely entitled to do, uh, Craig is trying a move so they're almost side by side but not quite, uh, let's see if Craig is going to try to make a move on the outside, not possible not possible and really Craig I think he's faster but he just doesn't seem to find a way through that um, very wide 67 BMW of uh, Diogo Silva uh, it is not the widest of tracks um, so not obvious how to do an overtake here, here comes the last corner I think Diogo has gained some speed there because Craig is slightly too much on the outside at the entrance of that corner as we now see the battle for the lead, the battle for the lead has now um, well, it was 2.5 seconds and now you can see visually with your eyes what's happening here and that is that Cav Allen is with well, 0 0.2 maybe, or something like that, so uh, Kev must have made some sort of mistake um, because uh, Simon Allen clearly uh, wouldn't have the pace in a normal lap to just gain 2.5 seconds so quickly, but, but Simon here now is um, with a chance of a victory but again uh, I think Simon is faster, but uh, these cars running together it's it's really not obvious how um, uh, an overtake can be completed unless of course you just just go for it and 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 hope uh, that you can complete the pass without taking the other driver out and taking yourself out here he, after the back straight into this corner uh, Simon is again maybe now six seven tenths of a second as I was explaining here comes a big zoom on Diogo Silva and Craig Lloyd has tried something but not quite made it uh, through that particular corner after the back straight and that seems to be Craig's best possibility for an overtake which is that he seems to after the chicane and into the next two corners to really gain some time on Diogo so that when he enters the back straight he is completely behind however Diogo is able to maintain the inside line and defend that way and so far he continues to be in third as the two leaders now have checked out from the rest of the pack Diogo is already five seconds uh, away uh, behind sorry uh, from these um, leading pack of the Allens uh, again uh, the Allens dominating this race uh, they haven't really finished 1-2 in as many races as one would believe I think it, they only have 6 or 7 uh, in 35 races so they always seem to be at the front but there's always someone else there as well either leading or in second place um, 
most of the time. So lots of different combinations as we have seven different winners in all Fox Racing PS4 so far this season and also I believe 10 people on the podium uh, with Phil's podium in Imola. He became the 10th driver uh, to finish on the podium as we follow Andy Booth here who's now actually much closer to Whoa, what a beautiful drift. I don't think it was the fastest possible way to go through that corner but beautiful con car control there from Andy. Uh, so actually Craig has um, lost a bit of touch uh, with Joe and here comes the battle for the lead now the battle for the lead side by side Simon Allen too and then he's done the job he's done the job new leader new leader on lap 11 or is he yes he can complete the pass well done to Simon Allen for once he made a move that was stuck and did not um, crash into anybody and here comes Kev Allen oh dear Kev Allen has crashed and is pressed the reset button but not before not before these three drivers or three two drivers sorry two drivers have gone through Diogo Silva has got up to second Craig Lloyd has also overtaken uh, Kev after that spin in turn three uh, Kev was quite prompt pressing the reset button but um, now we've got a four-way battle for second place and, uh, uh, and it's a pity that we only have one lap and a half to go because this could be a fascinating um, battle as we have a very fast Kev Allen uh, now trying to pass uh, Craig Lloyd. Craig really was much closer to Diogo in, in previous laps but now I think Diogo has found himself a little bit of breathing space especially with Andy Zanibut. Andy Boot has crashed himself. Reset button and I think that has sealed his fate for this race. I think that Andy Boot uh, will now finish in fifth. He's got enough uh, is enough uh, he, he has enough of an advantage over Jambo I was just checking it's around 6 seconds here comes Kev Allen on Craig Lloyd Kev Allen on the inside in turn 1 Craig Lloyd trying to defend well done to Craig for defending there in the last lap it was some sort of like very active defending from Craig but really he continues to be in third as Diogo is now saying thank you very much guys you guys can battle as much as you want uh, I'm just minding my own business and, and trying to get second place as Simon Allen is uh, half a lap away from victory he's got a four or five second lead over Diogo Silva who in turn has actually gained some breathing space on Craig Lloyd I don't think Craig is going to be able to make a move here in the last lap so Diogo is lining up uh, a podium position and that's um, long time since we've seen Diogo on the podium uh, I believe since Daytona if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken um, Simon Allen is going to win uh, and that's again a good result for the championship because in race one even if he missed out on the win Kev Allen didn't finish and now he's going to win and Kev is in fourth place so it's another 15 points as we now see Simon Allen the checkered flag is in the air Simon Allen wins race two here at Sugo round 36 of the championship let's see if Diogo Silva finishes in second he does third place is Craig Lloyd and where is Kev Allen Kev Allen is here Kev Allen has lost some time maybe he uh, tried a desperate pass on uh, Craig, we didn't see that, but um, Kev has definitely finished fourth. Fifth was Andy Boot. Sixth is uh, Jambo, now crossing the line. Stuart Brand is going to beat Phil uh, on the second race, so in fact they will have scored the same number of points over this round because uh, Phil was seventh in race one and eighth in race two, and uh, uh, Stuart is precisely the other way around as Brian Hesting, of course, uh, finishes in ninth. Well, he's, he's Phil. Oh, uh, that's quite a moment for him uh, in the last corner. I don't know what he was trying to do there because he was very far away from Stewart uh, and also had quite a comfortable advantage over Brian. Um, but he tried to do the last corner flat out and that's what happened. Confirmation of your results in there with Andy Booth and Simon Allen, your winners of round 35 and 36 respectively. 
Are we going to see the points table? I'm not entirely sure it's done yet, uh, but I'm pretty certain that Kev Allen will maintain his championship lead. Here it is. Kev Allen, 639 points, 571 for Simon, 523 for Andy, with Diogo now 28 points behind. We cannot wait for the next round in All Fox Racing PS4. Stay with us.